The use of drugs, especially among the young, continues to be a scourge of our society. No venom could be more deadly than drug addiction. It claims its victims in countless personal tragedies, destroys individuals, tears families asunder, and weakens the moral fiber of a people whose greatest resource and hope for the future is its youth. Fortunately, through the coordinated efforts of law enforcement agencies at every level, we are making significant headway in cutting the flow of narcotics and dangerous drugs into the country. Because we believe that drug abuse can be prevented through education and drug addiction alleviated by medical science, I am today proposing a massive legislative program aimed at stepping up the battle on these two fronts, in our neighborhoods and our schools. Our program will bolster drug abuse education through better preparation of teachers in our schools, as well as other educational programs for parents by volunteer organizations at the community level. To treat those persons already victimized by drugs, I am proposing the immediate development of additional community-based treatment programs. The state will pick up the lion's share of the cost in this effort. Our program also will divert the first-time user or possessor of drugs away from our jails and prisons. He'll be given the opportunity to participate in treatment programs designed to keep him from becoming addicted to drugs. Now, this does not mean we're becoming soft on drug offenders. We'll continue to exert every effort to punish the pusher and to take the profit out of drugs. But we must prevent addiction whenever possible. And this can't be done by simply sending the first offender to jail or putting him on probation and allowing him to go back on the streets again with no community help. A major emphasis of our program is on local treatment programs. This is a massive undertaking and will cost an estimated $14 million a year. But with the safeguards we've built into the program, I believe our citizens will get their money's worth. And we will have turned the corner on drug abuse in California.